What's up everyone, I'm Sam from Rococo and I am crazy excited to announce the release of our updated Blender plugin. So this release is actually a huge deal for us because it solves some fundamental workflow issues when it comes to using mocap in Blender, namely importing and retargeting. Blender doesn't really have a native tool that helps you with retargeting motion capture animation which has been a huge problem in the past. That's why we're really excited that our new plugin makes it super easy to retarget any motion capture animation you have to a rigged character. It's incredible. In addition to that, our plugin actually reduces the time it takes to import FBXs, animated FBXs into Blender. If you've used Blender and imported FBXs in the past, you know it can take a really long time. Just by installing our plugin, you will drastically shorten the amount of time it takes to import those FBXs, which is another really good reason to grab this plugin and install it. Finally, this plugin started as a plugin that allowed you to live stream mocap data from Rococo Studio into Blender, and it still does that, and I'm going to take you through how to stream that data uh, live, including face cap data. Okay, let's jump in and walk through it. So first things first, let's look at the plugin itself. You can install the plugin by following the links in the description below and then installing it as you would any Blender add-on. Once you have enabled the plugin, it can be found in this tab over here. You'll sign in with your Rococo ID, which can be made uh, with just an email at rococo.com. You can also click this button here to get there. And then here is the live area of the plugin. We'll get to that later in this video. Here is our retargeting inputs. Uh, and this is the aspect of the plugin that is so exciting. This is where you'll do retargeting for all your animation onto your characters. And then below here, you can install updates and access documentation and release notes info. Okay, so let's quickly jump into Rococo Studio. Here is an animation I recorded earlier. Pretty basic little celebration animation. And we're going to be using this animation that I made using the SmartSuit Pro, but this could also be an animation you got from Mixamo or anywhere else. This Rococo plugin is really useful across the board for any of your mocap needs. So now we'll export it. We can use either an FBX or BVH format, but I'm going to stick with FBX. Also, I want to export in a binary format when working in Blender. Okay, let's click export and jump back over to a new project in Blender. So first things first, we will import our mocap. Let's go to file, import FBX. We will find our FBX. We'll make sure that animation is checked because we want the animation. And then we'll check automatic bone orientation, which I always do when importing FBXs. Our FBX will load super quick because our plugin actually enables Blender to import animated FBXs faster, which is awesome. If we hit play, we can see that we have it all imported and it's all working correctly here. Now we just need our character. So this character will actually be available for download in the description below for you all to play with. Uh, we're gonna use the same process, file, import, FBX. Sometimes you'll wanna disable this animation or leave it on depending on the character. I'm going to leave it off, but always make sure to check automatic bone orientation. Now we will open up our Rococo tab and head to retargeting. Our mocap animation will go in the source slot and the character armature into the target slot. Then simply hit build bone list. So if your bone list isn't generated automatically, you can just go in and manually assign each bone. For example, if this foot wasn't loaded in for some reason, we would just go in and select the matching bone. And once you've done this once, you can just hit save and it will load automatically the next time you use it. You can also export the bone lists as JSON files that save outside of the plugin. I will leave auto scale on to scale the animation to my character and then select current. Both our animation and our character should be in the same pose when we do our retargeting. Now hit retarget animation. 
And there you go, within a couple of clicks, we have our animation retargeted onto our character perfectly. This is so easy, and I truly believe this should be the standard workflow for mocap animation in Blender. Whether you record them in Rococo Studio, or you get them from a library like Mixamo or Rococo's Motion Library. Retargeting will actually copy the data from our animation to our character's skeleton, so now we can delete the original mocap data if we want. And we could export this animated character to another project or program like Unreal if we needed to. Okay, so before we get to live streaming data into Blender from Rococo Studio, I want to show you a workaround for when your character has a rest pose that is different from a T pose. So commonly, this, this is an A pose. To check what your character's rest pose is, you can select your mesh and then hit 1 to enter edit mode. It can also be found up here. This character, which I rigged in Mixamo, had a rest pose like this. It was in an A pose when I rigged it. So when you have characters whose rest pose is different from a T pose, when you retarget, you can get results like this. So to compensate for this, before retargeting, you should select your animation skeleton, then get into pose mode, and then move the bones to match the rest pose of your character. So in this case, our character had more of an A pose, so I will adjust the bones accordingly. Then directly after I adjust the bones, I will click retarget, and now, everything is working perfectly and smoothly, and so you can kind of fine-tune this more if you need to. Okay, so for the final portion of this tutorial, I'm going to walk through some of the live functions of this plugin. So here I have a character that has been rigged with the appropriate 52 blend shapes that we need to receive facial mocap. You'll need a character that has been rigged with facial blend shapes if you want to use uh, facial mocap. Otherwise, this workflow will work for you if you just want to stream live body data into Blender. Okay, so we've got our character in Blender ready to go. Let's jump into Rococo Studio. So here we go. I'm actually live. I'll turn on my camera here. Here we go. All rigged up, ready to go. So in order to stream live, first thing we're going to want to do is set up our face capture. So I've got my iPhone 10 right here. And I'm going to open up Rococo Remote. And as soon as I hit the app, we'll see this green light up here. I'm going to connect on our iPhone. We'll get a prompt. I'll hit accept and I'll turn on facial capture. And so now you can see our head is in our scene. And if I drag our head onto our actor profile, here we go. Now we are set up. We have facial mocap all working, ready to go, ready to be streamed into Blender. Okay. So to stream into Blender live, we will go to start live stream. We'll click Blender. 14043 is our port. We'll remember that in case something goes wrong. Now we'll switch over to Blender. And now in our Rococo Studio Live plugin here, we'll hit Start Receiver. And you can see that we get our suit and our face appear right here. And now if we select our armature, we go down to our actor right here and we'll select C2J. For bones, we're going to auto detect. So it's kind of the same system that we use in the retargeting. And then once we've auto detected, we're going to hit set as T pose. And we want our character to be in a T pose when we do this. And as soon as we do, boom, now we have our character streaming live from Rococo Studio. So we are all, everything's working and we're streaming wonderfully. And there might be a tiny bit of lag because I'm recording this, but normally this will be really smooth. So now how do we get the face working as well? So instead of clicking on the armature, if we click on the mesh here, we'll get another option, attach to face. We'll select our face, and again, this is streaming from Rococo Studio. If we go back to Rococo Studio, hold up our iPhone, so we're getting data again. 
go back to Blender, and you can see that we have this auto detect option right here. We'll click it, and there we go. And because this has the appropriate 52 blend shapes, this will just work automatically. Again, you need a character with those blend shapes in order to be streaming uh, this data live. That's just for the face capture data though. You can stream the body data uh, just with a character that has been rigged, you know, uh, with any armature in a T-pose. You can also use the plugin to record this animation directly to your character and to the timeline in Blender, as well as use the command API to control Rococo Studio from directly within Blender. I hope this was helpful. We are so excited about this new plugin, not only because it makes Blender import FBXs faster, but also just because this should now be the standard workflow for working with mocap animation, something that has been a little bit difficult in the past. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And then always feel free to reach out to us directly at support at rococo.com. We have more exciting plugins coming out for other programs coming up soon, so stay tuned for that and uh, have fun creating awesome mocap stuff out there. Thanks, everyone. Bye.